All right, here we are at the front of a Tesco Superstore. Tesco is one of the biggest supermarket chains in the UK. I'm gonna show you how to do vegan here. All right, so this is the fruits and vegetables aisle. I don't have to tell you about this again. Fruits and vegetables are vegan. Let's keep going. Now, when you think about making a vegan meal, you gotta think about the base, it should be starch. Beans, potatoes, you know, pasta, rice, and then you add your fruits and vegetables. This aisle here is your friend. Nutrients, health, go down this aisle first. Ooh, cake, let's have a look here. Sometimes they've got a vegan cake. No, just scan, you gotta scan everything. Bread. Sometimes it's good to ask them if they actually coat their bread with an egg wash, but you know, usually bread's flour, water, yeast, and salt. So just check with them, but I'm pretty sure most bread is cool, unless they've got some, something cheesy or some egg wash on top. You're usually all right. We've got wraps. I like to do the wholemeal wraps. I like to do these wholemeal wraps. And then you get some tofu or some chickpeas, put it inside and have a nice little wrap. Bagels. Check the back. Bagels are all right. Uh -huh. So across here we have organic, uh, exploited mother's um, breast milk here. Obviously, we all know about that. Cruel, abusive, so much water goes into one liter of milk, a thousand liters of water per liter. So a thousand of these for one liter of milk. Insane use of resources. Look at this here. We work with our farmers to ensure their cows are happy and healthy. No mother is happy to have their calf stolen from them. Bobby calves are murdered, sometimes on their first day of life, three days after birth. These cows will all be exploited for their children taken, for their milk until they're slaughtered and hacked across their throat with a knife. They are not happy cows. Look at this green pasture nonsense. Doesn't look like that in the slaughterhouse. They show you the green grass, they don't show you the slaughterhouse, do they? One step. One step. Lich, one step. Oat milk coconut milk, almond milk, soya milk, okay? What's this? Ah, oh, this free from cheese. I love Tesco's free from cheese, it's amazing, hey? They got some little grated cheese here. Cream cheese, Greek feta, little uh, single cream. Don't ever forget our pro. If you wanna be a little bit naughty, dessert moments, more cheese, amazing. Vanilla, we always do the Alpro, it's great, fantastic. They've got a little free from range here too. Free from, if you see free from, a lot of the time it's vegan, not all the time, but a lot of the time. Murdered bird, murdered bird, murdered bird, murdered bird and murdered prawns. Uh, see, this is free from, but it's not vegan. This one here says wheat free, milk free, egg free, vegan. See, this one here's vegan, mac and cheese. Milk free, egg free, but it's got beef in it, see? So you gotta be careful of these. Vegan pizza, oh my God. Look here, look here, look here, look here. The Wicked Range. The Wicked Range is completely vegan, so you're completely safe here. They've got a lasagna. If you want um, meals already done, the Wicked Range is amazing. Oh, enchiladas, look at them. Enchiladas. They are, they are absolutely killing it. Are these vegan too, Bob? Vegan approved. Go Tesco, look at this one. Go Tesco. Ah, this here. One of my favorite from Linda McCartney is this duck kit. It also comes with pancakes. It's absolutely legendary. Just be careful of these Linda McCartney's because they're not always vegan, but this one definitely is amazing. Chicken free slices. And they've also got uh, ham. I like these. They're really good. Oh, what fries. Fries is bought out. Chicken pies. 100% vegan pepper steak style. Check that out. Fries are killing it. Obviously falafel. You cannot go wrong with tofu. This is my favorite tofu here. Tesco, I'm telling you, they're leading the way when it comes to vegan options. Do you think a child wants to see a bird like that? If, that, if they've seen the head on this bird struggling as they're being, having their throat slit, you think a child is gonna wanna eat that? Disgusting. Three for 10 pounds, wow, that's the price of life. That's the price they put on life. Sea animals slashed up here. Oh, they bred, they bred these animals, they put bread on them fry them so people just are completely detached from the animal. Absolutely sick. And this is a, a good thing to know about free from. See, it can just be free from dairy, but it's got, 
you know, dead fish in it. So free from's not always vegan, but a lot of the time they're great. This was a sentient animal, this one. Gas chambered and murdered. Not all pigs are gas chambered in the UK, about a third of them. But, you know, otherwise they're just electrically shocked and stabbed in the throat. Drained of blood and hacked up into pieces, turned into bacon. They give them a different name, bacon, instead of murdered pig. This one here, they chop them up, put them on pizza with coagulated, you know, breast milk. There we go, sea animals dragged out their, their home. Like with sea animals, they pretend like this is healthy, full of mercury, saturated fat, cholesterol. Look, here we go. Look, this one's still got the eyes and the head. People don't care about sea animals as much as land animals, but you know, we should. Here we go. Halal, disturbing. I'm sorry I have to grab that, but that's a, that's a body part of someone. Mutton, so an older lamb, but <sighs> halal means no stun. This, look how many animals have been killed and chopped up here. Chicken livers, the hearts of little baby lambs. Hearts, rip their hearts out, how demonic. As you can see, they've put a little picture of the, the animal here before they were murdered. Okay, blood's still here. One step. Okay, one step, let's go. Boom. Amazing protein source, fiber, protein, carbohydrates, everything nearly that your body needs. You add some vegetables to this, put it in some bread. Amazing. Peas, beans, legumes. Oh, they're an amazing food group. Red kidney beans. These are so good for you. Black beans. You know, full of fiber, amazing for, for bodybuilding, amazing uh, source of protein though. Why not choose beans over blood and, you know, death? One step away. Sauce, I add sauce to everything. Most sauce, tomato sauce, or ketchup, vegan. These are all good, peri peri. Tabasco is all good, hot sauce. Sriracha is vegan, I love sriracha. The sweet chili is fine. You know, sauces are usually good wish to share, no. You have to get a vegan one of those. They got uh, fish in them. Obviously, uh, jams and all that. As long as there's no gelatin in which I usually use pectin, so they're fine. Fine, this is all fine. Obviously, these are not. They contain dairy. This is fine. Let's have a look, make sure there's no honey. No honey, they're fine. Bit of barbecue sauce. Look at this made for meat. Why? Because you you have to put this on meat to make the flesh taste nice. Is that why? You can pour this on literally anything, it will make anything taste nice. It doesn't look like there's any animal products in this. So you can pour this on some tofu, on some mock meat, and it'll make it taste just as good. Okay, so this mayo contains like eggs, and we all know eggs are very unethical. Male chicks ground up alive. But here's the Hellman's vegan, vegan mayo. Extremely calorie dense, very high in oil, but if you don't care about that, a little spread on your bread won't do too much harm. I don't take, I don't eat much of this, but if you love mayo, this is epic. This stuff here is epic. I just care if you're not exploiting animals, that's all. <gasps> turkey drumstick, oh my God. That's the leg of a turkey. <laughs> this is that marketing thing that that lady was going on about. Everybody believes what's on the label. So let's look at some examples. Some of my favorites, some of the ones I use all the time. I'll use Farm Fresh. I'll use 100% Natural. I'll use Butcher's Choice. But what does that really actually mean? Well, truthfully, it doesn't mean very much. 100% British, so? What does that mean? You can't have British animal cruelty? Yeah, you can. If you want to do vegan cheap, if you want to get all your spices sort of bulk, like, Three pounds sixty for two kilos of lentils. You know, these are you can chuck these in a curry. These are amazing, full of protein and fiber. These lentils are like a superfood. They're amazing for you. This is three pounds fifty for two kilos of chickpeas. Super cheap rice and beans. Very cheap meal. Like this here is five kilograms of rice uh, for nine pounds fifty. So this would last you a long time. Rice is very cheap. Cheapest food per calorie on earth. Rice. So don't tell me being vegan is expensive. Yeah, I think we know about the curry section. Oh, this mango chutney is really nice. If you want to make a curry with your lentils, get some curry paste. These are good. Patax brand. Oh, even cheaper. Let's go over here. 
This is two pounds 85, two pounds 85. How long is that gonna last you? What is it? That's a mass, that's three kilograms of pasta. You get pasta and vegetables, you got a meal. Add some chickpeas in there or tofu. What are you talking about? Vegan is expensive. Bit of bolognese sauce on there. Just check the back, boom. Totally fine, totally fine. You know, get some pasta sauces, heaps of different ones. Don't get the ones with dairy. Dolmio is usually good. Look, no added sugar, really good. Two quid, two quid. You can make a few bolognese's with these. Two quid, if you want um, a good mince, use TVP, textured, ve textured vegetable protein. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it from a health store. It's really cheap and really nutritious. TV TVP is nutritious as anything. This here, look, oh my God. This here is sriracha mayo. It's even got a vegan sign on it, sriracha mayo. Nice. But all these srirachas here, these are vegan friendly. If you mix this, spread oh, on top of something uh, like Asian or just any, I'll put it on every, everything with some nutritional yeast, amazing. Here's a good tip. Nori, wrap some rice up in it with some cucumber and some avocado and you get an awesome tofu and you've got a little vegan sushi. Boom, hit it up. And this is where you buy the, the silken tofu. Blend this up with some cocoa, some sweetener. Really good, you can make a savory dish. It's really good for dessert though. Suitable for vegans. These naked bars, get every single flavor. They're amazing, vegan. Good for the kids, good for the kids lunch boxes. Look, this one's, this is my favorite cashew cookie, delicious. Trek bars, yeah, these are good. Find your little free from sections in the supermarket. Sort of for vegans, cereals, vegan porridge sachets. This is a free from section. They've always got really cool stuff in here. This is a little sweet freedom chop pot. We've got so many, there's so much stuff in here. I could be in here all day, really. Yep, see, muesli's good. If there's honey or dairy, then obviously discard it, but pretty good. All different types of vegan chocolate here. Up here, it's just, it's just too much to choose from, look. Free from. Our pro is always our friend. Tesco is just the best, man. Look at these. Look at all these, look at all this. Vegan friendly chocolate up here. Like I said, if you want to make burritos, you can go hard on the burritos. Beans, rice, a nice wrap, some vegetables, some tofu, make a burrito. You can even grab one of these for rice. Look, two minutes in the microwave, convenient. I know some people have you know, time is a factor for cooking. Microwave up some rice, chuck it in the burrito with a can of beans and some salsa and some avocado. Boom, done. Lint, excellent. Let's have a look at the back. May contain nuts, milk and soya. See, if you see may contain, it's just for people with allergies. It's just a precaution because it's produced in the same factory. If milk isn't an ingredient, it's fine. If it may contain, then it's totally fine. It's just a cover for allergies. Oh, here we go, some chocolate drink. If you like hot chocolate, this may contain milk. This Cadbury one is fine, it's vegan. Accidentally vegan, that one. Yeah, cocoa is usually good, as long as it doesn't contain milk. This says may contain milk, that means it's fine. Yeah, coffees, you just, I've never I've never picked up a coffee and gone, oh wow, it's got milk in it, ever. Not, not these instant coffees anyway. These are vegan. Let's have a look at this flavor here. Suitable for vegans and the to toffee flavor. Oh, this has got milk, so the chocolate and strawberry are vegan friendly. Maple syrup, maple syrup, vegan friendly, better than honey. If you want to replace honey, use maple syrup. Here we go, this is honey. This isn't vegan. This comes from bees, it's taken from bees, it's exploited from bees. Um, there's many ethical implications of taking honey from bees. Um, enslaving queen bees, killing the bees in the process, taking their one source of food. When we have literally hundreds of other sweetener alternatives, this is unethical, use maple syrup or one of the other hundreds of alternative sweeteners. Okay, so here's all the sweetener here. We've got organic coconut sugar. This is a xylitol. I think it's made from vegetables or fruits. Uh, these are like stevia sweeteners, but otherwise there's agave nectar, um, you know, agave syrup here. Okay, so we've got oats here. I love oats. Get some oatmeal in your life. Full of fiber, a great way to start the day. You can blend it up with bananas and make uh, oat pancakes as well, really good. Okay, here's some spreads. Okay, so this here, peanut butter powder. This is delicious, it's fat free. You mix it with a bit of water, it turns into peanut butter. Really good, you can put it in your smoothies. Uh, this is Biscoff spread. This is suitable for vegans. 
it's highly addictive and very unhealthy. So just be very careful and use it as a treat only. Yep, Marmite, another spread that's suitable for vegans. Peanut butter is obviously nearly always peanut butter is vegan friendly. Okay, so go hard on that. Okay, 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 okay. Here we are, here we are. The milk section. This is the warm milk section. We're just in the cool milk section. The warmer milk, the, the long life milk is always a bit cheaper. We've got rice milk, but just below we've got lacto-free. You see this nonsense, it's just because human beings are intolerant to cow's milk because we're not cows, they take the lactose out to make people more tolerant to it. But that, this isn't vegan, it's just lactose free. The sugar that people are in milk that people are allergic to. But look, one step over here. Oh wow, look, look at this. Oat milk, three for three quid. Three of these for three quid, that's a quid each. This here is the best all time greatest um, milk for coffee. It does really good in hot water. So if you pour this in coffee, it doesn't split. This is really fantastic. See, so look at this. Organic soya milk, one quid. Look at this chocolate soy. Three for three quid. Get your kids onto that, they'll love that. They're not baby cows, get them onto the plant milk. Much better for the animals and the environment and your children. Oh look here, look this is a, for the kids lunch box, one quid fifty. They've got strawberry up here too. Amazing, oh look, wow. They're marketing, instead of marketing cow's milk, which is very dangerous for children, they're marketing soy milk. Much better. Soy is a bean, do not be afraid of soy. That's just propaganda. Most of the soy consumed in the UK is not GMO soy. Soy is a bean, beans are healthy. Flax seeds, you want omega-3, omega-6, omega-9? Flax seeds, really good. N nuts and seeds, nuts and seeds. You know, like these fr little fruit, you know, these little fruit bears and stuff for kids. Oh my God, happy eggs, this is sick. Disgusting, there's nothing happy about the egg industry. If you know anything about the egg industry, all the hens are always slaughtered in the egg industry unless they're rescued and go to a sanctuary. There's nothing happy about eggs. Male chicks are uh, minced up alive on their first day of life or they're just chucked in a bag and suffocated or gas chambered. But all the, all the hens in the egg industry end up in the meat aisle. So what's happy about that? There's nothing happy about eggs. One of the most cholesterol dense foods you can eat as well. They come out of a chicken's ass covered in poo and wee. And yes, they come out of a chicken's ass because the cloaca is the, the anus where they urinate, where the eggs come out. So all it comes out of one hole for a chicken. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's much more cost effective to get frozen berries than it is to get the fresh ones. And they're usually frozen a lot riper. Um, so yeah, frozen fruits for your smoothies, for your oats, amazing, really good and cheap. This is the magnums that we don't buy because they're not vegan. Keep moving. What do we got here? Oh my. This is 330 calories per tub. I had this the other day. If you get this one, chocolate hazelnut, it's vegan. They're not all vegan, but check for the little vegan sign at the front. This is amazing. Swedish glaze, vegan magnums, go hard. If you like chocolate orange, this is vegan. If you like cornettos, these are vegan. Alpro. Oh, Alpro is always vegan. Made from cow's milk, made from cow's milk. Disgusting. Oh, okay, so these are the frozen pizzas. We've got vegan ones here. Or we've got the falafel one here. Don't worry about all those. They've got murdered animals on them. Keep it going. The freezer section's always my favorite. Oh, the corn section. As you notice here, a lot of the corn isn't actually vegan. So just be careful. This is one of my favorite mock meats in the whole supermarket, it's called oomph. I love it. There's three different flavors, three or four different flavors. It's amazing, get oomph. And this is the vegan corn. Okay, so they've got the, the little pieces here for a curry, hot and spicy burgers, crunchy fillets. Corn is a, this is a, oh, well, they, look, they look nice as well. So yeah, they're the, if it's got vegan on the front, but these ones here, they're not vegan. Okay, these ones here, fishless fingers, they are vegan, go hard on them. Leave the fish in the ocean and get these. Oh, meat-free burgers, see? Tesco's own brand, amazing. Vegan sausage rolls, go hard. Peas, who doesn't like peas, full of protein. Let's have a look here, just keep scanning, you know? You have gotta have the vegan radar on. Now hummus, go hard on the hummus. Usually always vegan, hummus. You can make your own hummus, but who doesn't like dipping a bit of, you know, carrot sticks in hummus, bread in hummus, a wrap with hummus, delicious. Here we are, back in the fruit and veg section. Potatoes, starches, 
amazing. Base your meal around starch, you won't go wrong. And this is it. You should spend most of your time in the fruit and vegetable section though, when you're at the supermarket, and give yourself a treat here and there, learn what to replace with uh, you know, dairy-free alternatives. And once you get that down pat, you'll be fine in Tesco. Tesco will look after you. Okay.